I look back to seeing the, it was one of those brands that was born uh, then and survived and, and has, has succeeded. Um, in terms of when you set out, uh, what, what, what led to Netflix coming to being in the first place? Originally, 14 years ago, uh, DVD was new and exciting, and I'd gotten a big late fee on a DVD, bringing it back to the video shop late, and I was mad about it. And it got me thinking about DVD by post and in the dot-com days in the 90s and early 2000s, we were doing DVD by post. And then five years ago, we started streaming, and it's just been a rocket ship. People love click and watch. It's unlimited. You can just watch as much as you want, and it's instant. And it's only 6.99 euro a month, so it's just such a, a low price great service. It's in all of the video game consoles, the Xbox, PS3, Nintendo, Wii, Apple TV, everything. Something like 700 devices. I mean, when you, when you, when you guys uh, got the postal model working, was, was streaming there as, as something you thought you could do? Because certainly I do recall around 1999, 2000, if, if somebody came along with an idea for streaming at the time, most people didn't have the infrastructure. And I think that's what led to the second wave of the internet is when the broadband arrived, suddenly things were possible. Um, but was, was streaming on the, on the roadmap back then when you started? That's right. From the very beginning, that's why we named the company Netflix and not DVD by post, <laughs> uh, because we were really focused on um, eventually we were going to be able to deliver. Once we went from dial-up to broadband, and now broadband's been growing, whether that's YouTube or Netflix um, or catch-up TV, it's, it's all coming together. And eventually all of television is going to evolve to be click and watch television, internet delivered. It'll all be a web-like experience built into a smart TV. A, a smart TV has Wi-Fi built in and a number of applications like Netflix. Like the, uh, I was at CES last year and someone said that you know, in, in about five years time, the average teenager or child will ask you what the hell was a remote control or what was uh, you know, the, um, the menu for surfing stuff. I mean, they'll, they'll ask you, what, how, how did you put up with this stuff? And, sure. And, I, 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 I grew up in the era of um, flaky TV signals and uh, nothing on whenever you wanted to watch it. And, and this is suddenly amazing. Uh, what I really like is the uh, ability to stream in almost a second and, and the quality of that. And it's, it, 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 there's, no, there's no loss of integrity in that. But in terms of the trends, like you're, you're heading to CES this afternoon. You're flying off there. And sure. you'll, be, you'll be looking at, at what's coming down the line. And one of the most talked about things this year also is also the Apple TV. And will Apple bring out a TV? And, uh, what, what's your own feeling on, on, on where TV is going? Uh, like the, I, d I don't think most people have grasped just how, how complex a TV actually is in today's living room and just what it's capable of doing when you think in things like 3D, uh, on-demand, uh, high definition. I mean, what's your view on what's coming? Well, if you think of an iPad, um, it's got a number of applications, and then you can download applications, and that's roughly how a TV will operate. You'll have applications representing channels, There'll be sporting channels, and they'll have you know amazing different kinds of ways of viewing. Watch four games at once, to all kinds of stuff. There'll be great movie and TV uh, channels. We hope to be uh, very successful in that area. There'll be news channels, um, but they'll be closer to applications. And a TV will be as smart as an uh, iPad is today. In terms of the uh, like, what you've done is incredible in terms of assembling this content and and the. I think the, the, the movie studios and the TV stations that have worked with you get it. Um, do, you, do you think there's, a, there's a, a learning curve for a lot of these people to realize that this is the long tail come to life? This is, this is the opportunity to discover stuff and find it. And also what I like is the intelligence that's in it. It helps you find stuff you might be interested in. But is, is it still a bit of a learning curve for a lot of the, the broadcasters and, and movie houses to actually say, well, look, this isn't your enemy, this is your friend? Um, generally, the movie producers and the TV producers want to get their shows seen by people and they want to make money doing that. And what we're able to do is pay the producer um, for the shows. So we have Prison Break and 24 and Breaking Bad and then a ton of great movies. So um, we pay them and then we market our service and have it be a very low price at $6.99 uh, for subscribers. And, 
that, that tends to be the winning combination. And the great thing about Netflix is there's no contracts or commitments. You, you know, you can try it for free and then you can cancel any time. It's just a couple of clicks. We're really trying to differentiate by being super easy and very consumer friendly. The advent of social in this as well is, is quite interesting. I, I like I like the fact that you know you'd be watching something and your friends will know you're watching something. Now, you may not want them to watch it, so you can click not to watch them, not to tell them they're on Facebook, whatever. But it's very it's very interesting opportunity. Where do you see social going? Because I know I know for example Facebook have done some interesting things with uh, live streaming of uh, movies as well and, and live sports events. I mean, do do you see yourselves moving in that direction towards you know beyond the obvious catch up to maybe some event driven stuff too? Well, social is transforming almost every sector of the internet. And social news is starting to be big and seeing what articles your friends are, are reading as a way of finding them. Um, social music with Spotify is becoming really big. And now social video. And it's very exciting. And you know, when you can see what your friends are, are watching, it both helps you choose. And it's great just as a touch point of, you know, oh, did you enjoy that? I love that. You know, a, an interaction point. And in terms of your own predictions on gadgets and stuff, I mean, you're heading to CES today and people will be bringing out all kinds of interesting things like holographic TV or 3D TV or uh, new things to do with, with, with apps on TVs. I mean, what would be the kind of things you'd like to see personally arrive on, on a TV that, well, I mean, without giving away too many secrets and what your sure. problems could be, but in terms of the kind of trends you might, might be uh, witnessing this year? Well, there's some amazing new TVs coming out, and there's two big directions. One is the screen size and lightweight where you get larger and larger screens that you can pick up with one hand. I mean, just very, very lightweight. Sort of giant iPads, if you will. And the other is the real smart TVs, again, that have all the intelligence of, a, of an iPad and applications, and it's become so easy. Reed, thank you very much. Thank you.